Hello everyone, welcome to this video series on data structures. In today's video, we will see what are trees in data structures. We will see some of the tree terminologies and what are the application of trees. Also, I have one assignment question for you. You can solve that assignment question and paste in the comment section. So let's start with what are trees in data structures. So before starting with the trees, we'll first understand what is linear and non-linear data structures. So a linear data structure is a data structure in which the data elements, they are arranged in a sequential manner. Like suppose you have an array. So in the array, we can see that the data is arranged in a sequence that is one after the another. Also, we can see that the array has the start element, the end element, and also there are other elements which has the adjacent previous and the next element. The other examples of linear data structure are stack, queue, and linked list. So a non-linear data structure is a data structure in which the data elements are arranged in some kind of hierarchy. For example, the trees and the graphs. So yeah, now we come to what is a tree. So a tree is a hierarchical or a non-linear data structure. So this is a tree. If we invert it, it becomes a tree in data structures. So let's see an example. This is the hierarchy in the organization in which the CEO is at the top. So it is called as a root or boss of everyone. And the CTO and the CFO are direct reportees to the CEO. The manager one and manager two are direct reportees to CTO. Manager 3 and manager 4 are direct reportees to the CFO. So we can see that it is some kind of an hierarchy. So tree is a collection of nodes which forms a hierarchy in which the root is at the top and the branches they expand in the downward direction. So let's see some of the basic terminologies in the trees. So this is the sample tree. So what are nodes? So all the data elements in the tree are called as nodes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. These are all the nodes of a tree. Next, what is root? So root is some kind of a special node. And the entire tree is a reference to that node. The special thing about root is that it doesn't have any parent. Now, what is a parent? So the parent of a node can be called as the immediate predecessor of a node. For example, in the tree, we can see that the immediate predecessor of node C is A. A becomes the parent of C. Similarly, the child of a node is the immediate successor of a node. In the example, we can see that the immediate successor of node C is G. So it is called as the child of a child of node C. The next one is siblings. So how can we identify the sibling of a node? So node with the same parent are called as siblings. In the example, we can see that the sibling of node E is F because both are having the same parent. So now let's see what is an ancestor. So the ancestor of a node can be called as all the nodes along the path from the root to that particular node. For example, the ancestor of node J is all the nodes from the root to J which are along the path. So what are all the nodes from root A to J along the path is A, C and G. So the ancestor of node J are A, C and G. What are descendants of a node? So all the nodes in the path from the current node to the leaf node are the descendants of a node. For example, if I want to find the descendants of node C, so uh, the nodes are G, and j who are the descendants of a node so the node g and j are along the path from the current node which is c to the leaf node which is j so they are the descendants next one is the internal nodes so node with at least one child is called as an internal node so in the example we can see a has a child b has one child c has one child at least d has at least one child and G has at least one child. So the internal nodes are A, B, C, D, and G. 
also what is a leaf so nodes without any children is known as a leaf and we can also see it as an external node so in in this example we can see that the leaves are e f j k h and i so what are the cousins so node with the same grandparent are known as cousins so in the example we can see that node g and node f are cousins because they don't have same parent but they have same grandparent which is a next are the branch node so all the nodes except the leaf node and the root node are the branch nodes so node b c d g are the branch nodes so let us see some more terminologies and points so tree consists of levels root node root node a is at level 1 node b c and d are at level 2 node e f g h i are at level 3 and node j and k are at level 4 the example that we have the level of node c is 2 so for n nodes there are always n minus 1 edges so in our case there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 11 nodes so total there will be 11 minus 1 which is 10 edges all the nodes except the root has one incoming edge so root does not has incoming edge rest all of the node will definitely have incoming edge the depth of the node is the number of ancestors not including the node itself so in this example we can see that uh, suppose for a node g the depth of the node will be the number of ancestors of that node so for g the ancestors are a and c so the depth of the node is 2 the height of the node is the length of the longest path to the leaf let's consider node a in this example uh, let us find the height of node a so the height of node a will be the length of the longest path from the node a to the leaf so the length of longest path from a to the leaf is 4 so the height of the node is 4 because here we have various paths like a b e a b f a c g j a c g k so the longest path is of size 4 the height of a tree is the height of the root so in this case the height of a tree is 4 a node can have a left subtree and a right subtree but it is not necessary that they always uh, have left and right it might happen that it has only left subtree or it has only right subtrees out degree a uh, total number of leaving vertices is known as the out degree so for example let's consider a node c so the out degree of node c is 1 because there is one outgoing edge from node c in degree is a total number of entering vertices so we can see that for node g the total number of incoming edges is 1 the total degree is number of incoming edge plus the outgoing edge or in degree plus out degree so let's consider for node g the in, in degree or the incoming edge is 1 the out degree is or the out degree or the outgoing edge is 2 so our total degree will be 1 plus 2 which is 3 so let's see some exercise questions so this is the tree this are some of the assignment questions you can comment down the answers in the comment section below you can pause the video for a moment and you can comment down the answers in the comment section below and you can verify your answers also one more question also i have one more question that what is the level of node m If you know the answer you can comment down in the comment section below. Let's see exercise question answers. 
so these are the answers for the assignment so let's uh, let's go through the answers one by one so the parent of f m j n a so the parent of f in the diagram we can see that it is b for m it is h for j it is d and a since it is a root so it has no parent the child of b f h n so the uh, b so there is a node b it has two children e and f k and l are not children they are the they are the grandchildren of node b similarly f has child as k and l and h has child as m the siblings of h and f so in the diagram we can see that the h uh, has siblings as i and j because h i and j they belong to the same parent d so they are siblings so h has sibling i and j and f and e they belong to the same parent b so f has a sibling e also the ancestors the ancestor of k is a b and f so ancestor is the the ancestor of k is a b and f similarly for m it is a d and h similarly the internal nodes so the internal nodes has at least must have at least one child so in our case a b c d f h and m they have at least one child so they are the internal nodes similarly we have to find the height of a tree so the height of a tree can be called as the height of the root which is the height of the longest path from the root node to a leaf so in our case the longest path is a d h m n or a d h m o so the height is 5 similarly the depth of a node so depth of a node can be called as the number of ancestors excluding the node itself so in our case the depth of node m is the number of ancestor it has that is h d and a so the depth of node is 3 similarly the total degree of node f and h and i so f has an in degree of 1 which is b is the in degree of f which has a in degree of 1 out degree it has 2 so total degree is 3 similarly h has in degree of 1 out degree of 1 so total is 2 and i has in degree of 1 out degree of 0 total degree is 1 so now let's see what are the application of trees so the first application is the hierarchical data structure so the tree store the data in a hierarchy so example the file system in our computer so i'll show you the demo of how our file system looks like in windows system so this is uh, one of my folders i'll just open the command prompt over here and i'll just type tree so here we can see that the folders they are arranged in the hierarchical format that is in the form of a tree in the computer system similarly we can use trees in faster searching so there is a binary search tree which help us to search anything uh, very fast also b trees and the b plus trees they are used to implement indexes in the database syntax trees are used in the compilers and trees are also very popular in the routing algorithms that is it for this video uh, kindly like share and subscribe and turn on the notification icon because in the next video i'll explain about what is a binary search tree and i'll also explain about the traversals in the binary search tree so keep watching 
have a nice day